Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay. So this is going to be a uh, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising monthly tower reading July 2019 <clears throat> and uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards. Oops, sorry about that. And uh, we will jump uh, straight away to the uh, to the reading. All right. So the first card, which represents a Taurus topic for the month of July, is going to be uh, the Strength card. Followed by the second one, which stands for the uh, peripheral activities that Taurus can go for, or they should they decide not to and doesn't worth the hassle they are completely free of not going for this is a completely conditional card guys then the next one is going to be in regards to the challenges the taurus are to face throughout the month we have the seven of pentacles the second one is the high priestess by the way uh, then the third the fourth card excuse me which stands for the positive aspect of the month for taurus that is going to be the four of cups and then the last one, which stands for the guidance here for Taurus uh, for the month of July, that will be the Six of Pentacles. So once again, uh, it is the Strength card first, which stands for the topic, followed by the High Priestess, which uh, stands for the peripheral activities. Afterwards, we do have the Seven of Pentacles, which is in regards to the challenges that Taurus needs to overcome throughout the month. Then it is the Four of Cups, which is about the positive aspect. And the last one, Taurus, that is to be the Six of Pentacles, which is the guidance. Okay, uh, Taurus, uh, this is gonna be pretty straightforward month for what it seems, at least for what I get from the cards where you are to focus just on one thing and one thing only. And until you don't get that thing done, nothing else most likely are going to occupy your attention. That is pretty well described here in the first couple of cards. Like I said, uh, the second position is about the peripheral activities, but the high priestess suggests no peripheral activities whatsoever. And in a condition as a uh, strength is the first one, it speaks for that huge, it's not devotion, it's more like a dedication to push something true, you know, to, to, to devote your full time and efforts into it and nothing else will really matter. But yeah, the strength card, it represents this something as a, uh, the, the, the first thing is that the month is going to be quite enthusiastic, you know, because you are to have something to work upon or to work with, you know, that could be either a relationship that you try to uh, develop any further, that could be as well something into your career that kind of like uh, ignites that enthusiasm, that passion for you, you know, to... Um, completely neglect, neglect everything else that is happening around you. You know, no different than, for example, when a couple falls in love and nothing really else matter. It, it, it looks like that they can stand uh, together against the world and nothing can bring them, bring them down. Now, the strength card here has a, that rare property that whatever 
you are going to develop throughout the months with a lot of patience, determination and tenacity here is going to be rather quite indestructible. Now that is, now that I think of only one of the two cards that says indestructibility, this, the next one, uh, the other one is the magician because in the indestructibility symbol, it is the infinity symbol here on the top of the crown of the, um, of the woman with the lion. Uh, however, <clears throat> the whole thing is going to require, like I said, a lot of patience. So uh, this month is going to be like a test, you know, for you not to blow the whole thing away, you know, making any irrational um, actions. You can be taunted, though, OK, from the, from, from the people around you. And this taunt should not go and answered all right so not unanswered but answered so do not pay attention to the town whatsoever it is just you don't have to feel obliged uh, to, to to explain yourself why you want to develop whatever you want to develop uh, the accompanied card here it is the nine of pentacles <clears throat> And the formation, it is a active neutrals here. And I could see why people could dispute and question, you know, your uh, your performance and your dedication here. It's because it's going to be out of your character or what people are expecting from you to do here with that uh, specific formation. So it's like, uh, for example, your family are expecting you to start studying for a, a lawyer, you know, but instead you... you, you uh, went to a, a university or like applied to study psychology, right? And your people and, and your parents are saying, well, "What the hell?" You know, I mean, we we did not expect that, and it's kind of like you know, they're gonna be shocked, and uh, not that they, not that these people that are trying to dispute you ain't going to support you or anything, because that initial stasis of shock is gonna make them, you know, impulsively to uh, and prematurely to dispute what you're doing once again guys you don't have to feel obliged to explain yourself or to, to to defend yourself in any way you do what you think is best for you and what is passionate for you to do so the next card is going to be about the peripheral activities and uh, like i said there aren't gonna be any i need to draw one more card and uh, uh just so i can give a confirmation here we do have the four of pentacles so yeah it's pretty much these cards are pointing that everything that is peripheral to that activity the enthusiastic activity or an enterprise is going to be pretty much sorted out so you can expect that no shenanigans are to happen throughout the months like unpleasant surprises from the things that are left unattended uh, for example, if that enthusiastic endeavor it's into your career and you devote all of your time, you know, and dedication into your career, you can expect no problem from your family because most likely your husband is going to understand, you know, how important that thing is for you. He may not, your husband may not, or wife, you know, may not approve it entirely, but that doesn't mean that they are going to create any problems about it. <clears throat> But instead, they're going to leave you, do your thing, and etc., etc. You know, so the, the main reason here of these cards is that you have pretty much consolidated, you know, the um, those kind of minor details, let's say. And, and, and like I said, peripheral activities, which could interfere with your uh, with that grand endeavor of yours and uh, they are somewhat stable so there there won't be any unpleasant surprises in there which you have to immediately attend to like crisis and etc um, etc so uh, just from these couple of cards Tauruses it quite it seems quite narrow month which there is nothing wrong with that, you know, uh, as a matter of fact, I think that is going to be quite productive. This is how I think that is going to be. Uh, but once again, guys, you should not lose it. I mean, and especially when it comes to, um, you know, trying to uh, to push the thing forward, you shouldn't, uh, you should not lose your temper. It's not, um, it's not different than trying to push through thread, thread into the needle. Okay. So it's kind of like, you know, it's quite tedious to do so. It requires patience and it requires somewhat a, uh, a precise actions, okay? And that will require as well time to perfect. So do not be, uh, do not be hasty. It is what I'm trying to say here. 
Uh, and that is well uh, described here in the next card, which is the challenge itself. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And Seven of Pentacles points that uh, even though the month is going to be enthusiastic, you know, I, I, and that you are to um, dedicate yourself into one specific thing, you know, uh, yet it's not going to have that speed that you are anticipating. Things are going to develop rather slowly. Uh, there are going to be a lot of waiting as well, especially if that, uh, if that endeavor involves other people. For example, let's say a relationship. So you start dating with someone and now you want that thing to escalate into something bigger and that person feels hesitant. So it's, it doesn't depend only on you. And therefore, there will be some delays. This is what I'm trying to say. And uh, that will be the challenge itself, not to push the whole thing forward, but instead, or, or kind of like to, to force the whole thing forward. But instead, when those um, situations of delays are to happen, uh, use the time to think about carefully what is going to be your next move and how you can perform that move you know most efficiently because there is definitely going to be a way how you can achieve more with less the accompanied card here it is a um, four of wands the formation it is a, a passive neutrals that we have now i can see your impatience because this card additionally it's contributing to the seven of pentacles it does point that there is a lot of work to be done Okay, so you can finally, you know, reach to the very end and, and hopefully succeed into this endeavor, you know. And you would have wished the things to happen as fast as possible, you know, because there are too many, too, too many things to sort out with it. And um, yeah, it, it, definitely that, uh, that endeavor is going to proceed on forward into the month of August, maybe, and into the month of September as well. So it's not going to be just only the month of July where you're going to have that dedication. But the climax of the dedication itself is going to be in the month of July, probably in the month of August, you know, you can... Uh, um, you know, cumulatively proceed on forward with the same endeavor and something uh, additionally to it as well. So it's it's pretty much where you are going to stabilize that initiative that you do have uh, here, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. Now, um, <clears throat> the next card, which stands for the uh, positive aspect here of your month, Tauruses, is going to be the Four of Cups. And this uh, card tells us two things. First thing is that you are going to feel pretty good about it. You know, you are going to feel pretty good about uh, not devote, but dedicating yourself into the idea, into this project, you know, or into this relationship or into this endeavor, I would name it. That is the one, uh, the one thing that the card says. And in the second one, it kind of like points that you are going to be emotionally fulfilled about it as well. And you will not want to or you will not need, I would say, anything else to make you feel good, okay? So it's all about being consistent the way I see it and not dropping off this endeavor at all, despite what the rest are, um, are thinking about it. And as well, do not get discouraged, you know, if things are taking out for a couple of days or maybe for a week as well. The accompanied card here is going to be the Two of Cups formation. It is a passive enemies that we have and you don't have to look very far. It seems that uh, because with the Two of uh, with the two of Wands represents, you know, the uh, the expansion of, of, of one's environment, the expansions of one's, of one's skill and of one's knowledge. And as a neutral to the uh, Four of Cups, it doesn't look like that you're going to feel like it. What I mean is that you wouldn't need anything to expand on because there is still what to be done with this endeavor, right? So that endeavor is going to mean a lot to you. And the whole th and, and the fact that the whole thing can be developed exactly the way that you want to develop it is going to speak a lot. And uh, it, it's going to give you, in generally, a, a clamorous belief for, uh, for the future. So let's say that way, um, uh, let's say you start a relationship, you put a lot of dedication in it, you know, and you don't, uh, and you will not want anything else. You know, you, you feel like you do have it all, right? And it doesn't matter if, if you make a lot of money or if you uh, live in a palace, all right? The, all, everything that matters is the relationship and your dedication into it. This is what I'm trying to say with these couple of cards. So you're going to feel extremely emotionally fulfilled there. <clears throat> in, uh, in a standpoint of emotional stability, 
because emotional fulfillment could be as well exhilaration, okay? It could be as well um, sensual joy, but that is not very stable emotional fulfillment. It, it kind of like goes away pretty quickly while feeling like you do have it all, it's, it's more stable uh, emotional uh, fulfillment. And the last card here, it's going to be about the guidance and that will be the Six of Pentacles. So Six of Pentacles uh, asks you to allow the thing to unfold very naturally. Six, Six of Pentacles, it's the little brother of the Sun card in that, uh, in that as aspect, okay? Because the Sun card is the card which points to a natural unfoldment of one situation, but the Six of Pentacles asks you to go with the current, which is somewhat the same, okay? Uh, <clears throat> that being said, uh, as well, uh, urges you not to discourage yourself, you know, if the current doesn't lead you at the current portion of it into the direction that you want to be. It may take a deviation or two, all right? But ultimately, at the end, it seems it's going to lead you to a, a very good place. Additionally to that, what you need to know with the Six of Pentacles is that taking on help, okay, is not going to solve the problem or it's not going to relieve the situation, at least not in the grand scheme of things. It may uh, postpone the issue, but it's not going to resolve it. So if you can do something on your own, it is best to do it and do not. Well, simply, if you if you want to do something right, you got to do it yourself. This is what the card here points. And uh, the accompanied card is going to be uh, the uh, Ace of Pentacles here and formation, passive supporters, guys, that current I spoke for is dragging you toward a rare opportunity to further your goal. That, 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 that's all. I mean, it's, it's like a, a, a faithful circumstances that are to happen, even if you don't like them, you know, or even if they, ca they catch you unprepared, doesn't make them less productive or less uh, positive for furthering your goal, okay? And that itself is going to create a soil for a lot of content, um, a lot of clamorous belief as well, flawless, uh, har uh, harmonious flow into uh, your relationships and as well success into your business. Now that, that does depend where the endeavor is gonna take place, okay? If, it, if it's gonna take place into your um, uh, into your career, you need to put the entire dedication into it. You know, you should you should care less what people tells you, and you should allow the current to lead you, and that will lead you to your rare opportunity to have business success. Same thing goes for a relationship. Pretty much, that's the month. It seems quite good, isn't it? So. Um, that being said, guys, yeah, that was your tarot reading for the month of July. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.